Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a simplistic flat back seahorse charm using polymer clay. So let's get started. Begin by taking the main colour that you're going to be using for the body of your seahorse. I'm going to be using Grey Granite by Primo. Start by rolling a piece of the clay between the palms of your hands to create a nice round ball. Place the ball on your work surface and flatten the clay down with your fingers to create a circle for the head. Keep flipping the clay over to ensure that the surface is smooth and that there is an even thickness throughout. Now take a smaller ball of the same colored clay for the body. Firstly, pinch one side of the clay to create a teardrop shape and this part is going to become the neck. Then also pinch the other side of the clay to create a pointed tail. You can stretch this part of the clay out as long as you want, depending on the size of the tail that you're going for. As you shape the body, keep in mind that you want the clay to be roughly the same thickness as you made the seahorse's head. Now place the body on your work surface and trim off the very top part using a blade. You can use one of your tools or your finger to make this space a little more rounded and this is going to be where we're connecting the head onto. Go ahead and position these pieces of clay together and then blend down the join with one of your tools to keep the clay nice and secure. Now we can start moving on to the details. Beginning with the snout, take a small ball of the body color and position this onto the side of the face and pat it down. Then you can use a ball tool to add a slight indent. For my seahorse's fins, I decided that I wanted a pearly pink colored clay. So here I am mixing a darker pink clay with some white pearl clay. Once the two colors had been mixed and the clay was looking consistent in color, it was then ready to use. You wanna flatten this clay down into a sheet. However, don't make it too thin as we do wanna shape this clay without it losing its form. Next up, I am taking a round cookie cutter that is roughly the same size as the seahorse's head. I cut out a piece of the pink clay and then I used my seahorse to measure it and just make sure that it was the right size. Then to create the spikes, I then continued to use my round cookie cutter to cut out small sections of clay, trying to keep them as evenly spaced as possible. I then positioned this clay onto the head and pressed it down to connect it on. You then may like to use a tool or the handle of one of your tools to perfect or reshape the spikes as needed. Now take a needle tool and gently create the indents in the clay where the spikes are. Moving on to the seahorse's other features, next we are making the belly. Take some more of that same color rolled into a ball and then flatten it down with your fingers into a teardrop shape before then attaching it onto the body. You can also use your needle tool to create some indents on the belly too. We are then going to make the back fin by rolling some colored clay down on our work surface with a rolling pin. And then you can use a round cookie cutter to create the curved shape of the fin. Again, add some indents with a needle tool or another type of tool, and then you can attach this piece of clay to the side of the body. Lastly, we need to create the facial details. So here I am rolling some black clay into a thin coil and trimming off a small piece, which I curved into a U shape for the eye. If you're not wanting to give your seahorse this kind of style eye, you can also just roll a ball of black clay for a regular circle. I then took some thinner pieces of black clay and I attached these onto the eye for some little eyelashes and then a small ball of light pink clay for the cheek. Finally, go ahead and add an eye pin if you wanna make your seahorse into a charm, and then you can bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. 
After baking, I took my super glue and I used this to secure the eye pin. So I poured out some super glue, I removed the eye pin from the clay, and I added a little bit on the end before then popping it back in. For some extra protection and shine, I also used my UV resin as a glaze. So here is what the finished flatback seahorse charm looks like once it's completely finished. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.